OSU President Gordon Gee says the timing is right for him to retire. And tonight he's talking about it on camera for the very first time. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining us at 11. I'm Jerry Revish. And I'm Kristen Hartman. Tonight we're not only hearing from Gee, but from his colleagues and even people directly affected by some of the comments that landed him in hot water in the past. 10 TV's Danielle Elias is live on the OSU campus where Gee and his replacement will hold a news conference tomorrow morning. Danielle. Well, the very first question asked of Gordon Gee is why? Why is he retiring? And his answer simply was that the timing is right. And he said he'd been actually thinking about it for quite some time. And even today, as he was leaving his office, walking out the doors, he was cracking jokes even with the media. He told us he was not forced out and said he still loves the students and the university. You know, I'm retiring from the presidency, not from the university. I love Ohio. I love Ohio State. I'm scarred and gray through and through, so I'm not, uh, I'm not leaving anywhere. You'll have me around for a long time. And like that, he hopped in his car with one final OHIO and drove off. He mentioned that tomorrow morning he will be having an official press conference here at the Union. Uh, 8.15 in the morning, we will be there. He'll be standing alongside the chair of the Board of Trustees, along with the man who will be temporarily taking his job. Again, that'll be 8.15. We will be live streaming that on our website so you can watch. That's 10TV.com. Reporting live on the Ohio State University campus, Danielle Elias, 10TV News. Danielle, thank you. And Guy left campus tonight and headed straight to a function at his home in Bexley. 10TV's Jason Frazier was there as people showed up for the event and reacted to his retirement announcement. From 1990 on to for the last six years, Gordon Gee supporters say he has transformed Ohio State into a world-class university. The way he dealt with students, the way he dealt with people, the way he cared, uh, the way he was able to merge academics with business. What do you think his legacy will be? Oh. It's fundraising without a question and what he's done for research. Even those who weren't OSU alumni saw his impact. I'm a Penn Stater and I've seen the progress the university's made academically, so he deserves a lot of credit. Tonight, hundreds of OSU employees, alumni, and community leaders gathered at Gee's residence. According to staffers, it was supposed to be a celebratory event, but as some walked by our cameras, they couldn't help but express their disappointment about Gee's retirement. Sad. Uh, he's one of the best things that's ever happened to this university, and, and it's, it's tragic. Some guests believe that Gee may have been forced to retire because of several jokes some deem to be inappropriate about Catholics. He tries to be funny and he got caught in a couple of bad situations. It's too late now. You know, he should have learned uh, some time ago, but he didn't and that's his, you know, he's paying the price. As a community prepares to say goodbye to Guy, many see this as a new chapter in a life that has touched so many. Congratulations on your retirement. And tonight we also spoke with OSU students who had also expressed that they were also saddened to see the president go. Reporting live tonight in Baxley, Jason Frazier, 10 TV News. Everybody has an opinion. Thanks, Jason. Current and former Buckeyes are reacting to Gee's decision to step down, too. Former OSU football coach Jim Tressel is wishing him well. Tressel said this. It was truly an honor to work with such a great president at a great university. Ellen and I sent him all good wishes for the future. Archie Griffin spoke on behalf of the OSU Alumni Association. He says, Guy's work is leaving the university in great shape, looking ahead to the future. Kristen? A humble man who knew how to offer an apology. That's how a nun with Little Sisters of the Poor described Dr. Guy in a conversation I had with her tonight. Sister Cecilia Sartorius told me Guy called her after remarks he made in 2010. It was when Texas Christian University made the Rose Bowl. About his OSU, he said, We do not play the Little Sisters of the Poor. The comment caught fire, and Sister Cecilia says Guy faced it head on. Did that leave you with a better impression of Dr. E. Gordon Gee? Yes, it did. Because he was man enough to realize he had made a mistake, and uh, he wanted to know more about who we were, and he wanted to bring some joy and pleasure to our elderly residents. Diabetic for the rest Gee brought a group of students with him for that visit so they could spend time with the residents, a gesture sister fondly remembers. Executive Vice President Joseph Aluto will step in as interim president for Ohio State when Gee steps down July 1st. Reporters asked Gee over the phone tonight, why not wait to retire until a permanent hire is found? 
first of all, that's me. I'm quirky as hell. And uh, the, the second thing is the fact that uh, Joe, uh, Dr. Ludo, uh, uh, was going to become this, come, take another job, literally. It, it was not a presidency elsewhere. No, it was, it was an interim position, at a, a, a very important interim position. Eludo had been talked about as the interim superintendent for the Columbus City School District, but the school board took no action. The district says it's confident it will have a new interim superintendent by the end of the month. We'll hear from Guy and Eludo tomorrow morning during a news conference at 815. Watch it live on 10TV.com and visit our website to read more about Guy's retirement and his legacy at OSU.